Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Soul Eater episode number 26. In the previous episode uh, we had a little bit of break from all of the fighting and everything that was happening with uh, Kishin and everyone and uh, it was a nice episode, nice episode to like catch our breath and be ready for whatever is going to come and it was hilarious as well like obviously like I love Soul Eater's comedy and as always uh, they did not disappoint and another thing is like uh, we saw at the last that uh, probably um, Krona and uh, Ragnarok is going to enroll in the academy so like I'm looking forward to like what's going to happen like the dynamic between Ragnarok and um, Krona is uh, something that I'm especially uh, like curious about what's going to happen to them like their relationship or whatever and now that Medusa is not here and uh, like he is free he also has to like start taking decisions himself like previously he used to obviously like ask Medusa for each and everything and uh, like uh, do whatever Medusa asks asked him to but now like uh, now we're going to see like uh, what he's going to do like how he is going to like cope up and make new friends with uh, the other uh, students and like live his life so like uh, like uh, Maka helped him like Maka gave him a helping hand uh, like he's helped him stand up now like he has to walk himself uh, so like we have to see like we'll see like what's going to happen so without further ado guys let's get started with episode number 26 of Soul Eater Okay, I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here, sync it to whichever is your preference, and let's get started. Okay, so here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. Oh. All right. Hmm, okay. What is this place? Like some kind of a passage? Oh, uh, this is Krona, isn't it? Yeah, it's Krona. <laughs> well, you <laughs> yourself. <laughs> What happened to him? Like he is depressed. Like uh, Mark, when Marka helped him and like uh, broke him out of his shell, kind of. Uh, like he looked extremely happy and everything. But I don't know. Like, is he like grieving uh, Medusa's death or something like that? It must be. Yeah. Like. Uh, like he seemed pretty happy previously like when uh, Marka gave him a helping hand so I'm hoping like he got to know that Medusa is no more like even though like she abused him and all like, she was his uh, caretaker and guardian and mother so yeah Okay, so here it is. <sighs> Interact with zombies? Oh.
Wait, who is that? Oh, is that uh, my <laughs> yeah? Her name is Maria, isn't it? <laughs> this lady is like. <laughs> New lifestyle support fair. Okay. Legacy of madness. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, like uh, thinking about it, like that is quite correct. Oh my god, this. Like now, Medusa is like haunting him. Like not haunting him, but. Oh no, I'm having a bad feeling, like. Like Stein might. Yeah, like Stein is pretty on like on the edge now. He's on the no, he's in the corner <laughs> sitting down. Mm. <laughs> corner. Oh, corner. <laughs> Wait, uh, wait a minute. Like, why was he like, like, kept here, like in a prison cell? This is a prison cell, isn't it? <laughs> oh my God! Yeah, that will traumatize someone. <laughs> the zombie gorilla. <laughs> oh yeah. And here he is. Ugly cow. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh. <laughs> well. Oh boy. Well, Ragnarok will be... W wait a minute, where is he? <laughs> he has like, what can I say? Like as... As Maka said, he like does not want people to like. He's like scared of getting close to people. Like he does not know the way to interact with others. Well, obviously, like that is something that would happen if you are like trapped in one place without any outside interaction. Okay, Soul has like changed his hairstyle. That's quite nice. Like I like his new hairstyle.
corner poetry <laughs> wait what why poetry oh okay <laughs> Okay. God damn, it's hot here. Oh. Oof. Okay, let, let's hear his poems. Wait. What? What? What's what? What type of poem is? We were okay. Oh no, here he is. Where is the shirt, Black Star? <laughs> oh, oh, let's see, let's see what happens to Black Star. Oh my god, Blackster is also not immune to this. Like, Blackster is immune to most of the things. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what is he doing here? <laughs> oh my god. Wait, I think like this story, the, these things, like these shrine gates, they have a nice design, like with a gully tone uh, blade and all. Oh, wait, supplementary. Blade. Oldest golem. Okay. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Hmm, okay. Excuse me. Chimneys. Yeah. Time to change your methods of doing stuff. Okay. Why is like Yeah, like that that seemed like a peaceful one. Mm. Okay. Wow, everyone is like all Hostile. Hmm, okay. The house also like have faces. Oh, this guy has like a uh, Giriko, like an interesting character design, like his hair and everything. Is this Stein's house? Like with all the stitch marks? Yeah. Oh no. Oh, 
Oh my god, what's happening to him? Like Oh, okay. Marty is here. Okay, so this is the reason why like Mari was like sent here. Like her wavelength, soul wavelength negates his madness. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. This is. Yeah. Like other things must have happened. If like something like this, which should not. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. So, like, this is something which is not related to the madness. Okay, so Okay, so who is Is this the glow golem? Yeah What? Oh, so like Oh, so Oh, okay, so This must be some kind of like Yeah, experiment that he did or like Oh my god Damn, 30 lives, what? My god, wow, like this guy is Emeth. Yeah, the thing with golems, like if you remove, I think it was something like like if you remove the E, 
the golem will die or something like emit hmm oh my god he's like wielding a whole chainsaw Okay, calm down. <laughs> what the? Oh my god. Okay. Well, uh Krona, I think you should also start helping. Well, this is what happens if you like live for too long. <laughs> mm. Long distance attack. Oh, yeah. Uh, how about four candies then? <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe he said she said that. <laughs> okay, that was funny. How about ten then? Yeah, fifteen big pieces. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that was like a nice episode. All right, so I think we're getting into um, another mini arc. I don't know if this is a mini arc or will be probably a big arc, but like we're getting into another like situation. So I'm I'm guessing this will be a short little arc because. Obviously this like this guy like the golem. I doubt he'll like pose any threat Even though he is like uh, living for 800 years as he said like Like there is like a uh, Krona and Makal and obviously like Maka can uh, if emergency situation arises she can like Like with a uh, soul can tap into that like what can I say that hidden power even though like uh, there is a risk of not coming back and obviously like Ragnarok and Krona is plenty powerful themselves so that's the reason why I don't think like this guy will pose any threat unless and until like something else happens like something completely unexpected happens okay okay so that was episode number 26 all right so um let's talk about this episode uh first we see like um <coughs> excuse me um first we see like sid coming and like uh, bringing uh, trying to <laughs> bring um krona out and uh, as i was saying like i 
I really like but I think that, like as I was saying like I don't know why he was like sitting like that and like uh, in the corner and everything uh, obviously because like Maka helped him and uh, after like Maka helped him he like we saw him extremely happy and everything and uh, so that was the reason why I was a little bit uh, like I, I don't know I like I, w I was a little bit confused as to why he was like sitting like that and uh, I thought like maybe he got to know about uh, Medusa's death or something but um, like uh, like then like he suddenly like uh, began uh, my, like I mean uh, he, b he became okay after Maka came so I'm guessing like he was sitting like that because like obviously that is uh, related to his like uh, nature like he is uh, what can I say like as um, said in the previous episode he was uh, confined in a place where like there was no outside interference or anything and I've said this before but uh, also but uh, yeah that is that uh, the a person is uh, grows into uh, like grows a personality and everything from like the ch when he is a child like when a person is a child and like almost uh, like a, a baby um, like his personality starts to grow like uh, take uh, like starts molding and whoever like uh, like everyone who comes into contact with that baby or child helps in changing his personality to like something like like a baby is like uh, uh, like clay a soft clay and when like outside interference comes and people like interact with that baby it molds the clay into something uh, like uh, with a shape and as the baby like interacts with others and uh, like the outside environment he grows and a personality uh, comes into shape then like uh, like that base personality is what he like like what is uh, is something that he uses throughout his life it might change later on like he might come into contact with other people as well and those other people might also change his personality in some ways but usually like uh, a person like how a person is is usually molded when he is a child he or she is a child and uh, like uh, that is the reason why like uh, a lot of people like if uh, they are uh, like in a bad environment from a very uh, like little age they usually like become a bad person uh, as he or she grows up and uh, like uh, as we as it is said that no one is born evil everyone is born good but the outside circumstances changes him or her and this is the same thing like he was born like after he was born he always came into contact with Medusa and she was the only one who was there for him and obviously as we saw like Medusa did nothing nothing for him like she just used him for her own experiments and that was like um, like neglected him neglected him and also kind of like abused him so that is the reason why like he like he has this thing now where he cannot interact with others because he never came into contact with anyone except Ragnarok and Medusa and those two being like as you see like Ragnarok bullying him and Medusa like using him for her own gains and abusing him so obviously like that made him like this and as Maka said that you were just um, what can I say uh, what did she say uh, you were just um, afraid of uh, no I can't ex remember the exact words she said uh, yeah something like that like you are afraid of others interaction you're afraid to interact with others and uh, that is his problem uh, basically so I think like that is the reason why he was like sitting like that and <clears throat> when Maka came in that is like the only uh, person who helped him throughout his whole life like up until now uh, <clears throat> like he kind of uh, like got up and everything and I was thinking like uh, maybe like he knew of Medusa's that that is why like he was sad but uh, like I don't know whether he knows what happened to Medusa in the end but um, I'm, I'm guessing like uh, even though like he kind of feels he like if he kn comes to know about Medusa's death even though he will feel kind of bad because obviously like she uh, she was her mother whatever you say like she was the only person whom he saw from his childhood a little bit of I think uh, emotion is involved uh, with her so like I think like even though he will be sad will probably like get over it because 
uh, now he is like in a positive environment and that will like help him get out of whatever uh, problem he was facing and uh, like help him uh, <coughs> overcome his problems now so yeah yeah and that was the thing with um, Krona and Ragnarok and uh, like as I said before like Ragnarok uh, I'm guessing like he will go along with them because obviously like uh, as far as we know Ragnarok is just like a we weapon who was like infused in his blood and he is like more or like an like a sibling who like usually bullies his uh, like younger sibling or well, like older sibling whichever and uh, like uh, like he kind of bullied him and that was kind of a, a little bad but still like I, I doubt like he uh, wanted anything bad for him and uh, I'm guessing like he'll also like after coming into contact with all of these people he'll also like change his uh, person like his personality will also change and like uh, like thinking about it now um, Ragnarok is also kind of a victim because he was with uh, Krona and he was also kind of like uh, what can I say faced the same environment as Krona uh, like uh, not uh, being able to interact with others uh, doing whatever Medusa told them to and all the experiments that she conducted on them so he's also kind of a victim so I think like he bullied Krona because of that like uh, to like vent his frustrations or something I don't know like uh, this is all my guesses and uh, but uh, the one thing that I'm sure is like he's also a victim like that is uh, something that I'm uh, like confirmed that always uh, that like he also like never did anything that <coughs> like he was uh, uh, like as far as I understood from what they were saying he was like infused into uh, Krona's bloodstream so like yeah so like uh like he's also kind of a victim in that sense so yeah yeah so that is the thing with um krona and uh, then uh we see like um who is that uh mari yeah uh she like mari is like kind of I think helped um, Stein break out of that insanity portion like the thing that was happening to him and uh, in the previous episode we got to know like her wave soul wavelength is something that would probably like negate whatever insanity is in uh, Stein's mind and uh, like uh, like I can see like Stein is like facing problems and by problems I mean uh, it is quite serious because like like the things that were shown like he was like hallucinating and everything and kind of like uh, laughing like a madman and like the thing like he had uh, insanity from uh, the beginning and the like coming into contact with the, the kishin that kind of uh, like increased his insanity uh, level like it acted as a catalyst and now he is suffering like more even though like the kishin is not nearby uh, like uh, the like it, like the catalyst kind of like uh, what can I say uh, <coughs> reawakened something within him which was like sleeping so obviously like it, this will like pose a problem and I'm hoping that Mari is able to like uh, what can I say like negate and uh, the insanity like uh, the thing that uh, single principle like wanted uh, to happen like uh, that is the reason why like he uh, kept Mari in this place and like uh, made the others do the, the all of the other jobs so I'm I'm hoping that uh, like uh, staying together with Mari kind of like helps him and uh, stops the insanity that he is facing now so yeah like that, that portion uh, like was quite serious and like I really f thought that maybe he will like start going towards the dark side but I hope not uh, because like like this is something that usually happens like uh, uh, someone who is like from the allied like from the allied team uh, due to something in his past or something something like obviously like, like you've seen now people have seen Naruto like the thing that that was with Sasuke 
and many many other animes the same thing happens like uh, someone from like uh, who is a good guy suddenly becomes a bad guy because of something from his past or something like hidden inside him or anything and i really do, do not want that happening to uh, stein so yeah <coughs> okay and then like uh, we come to this uh, like a golem portion where uh, like they got to know someone like one golem was has become uh, berserk went berserk and like um so the thing with this guy like who is like the main uh what can i say uh the enemy or something like he said that he has like uh yeah uh, lived out almost 30 boring as hell lives 800 years 30 lives 30 lives my god oh, oh my god damn so that's a long time and so like um so that is the reason why like he was starting to like become kind of like a madman because obviously like if you live 30 lives like 30 lives like different lives so that is something that like a normal person wouldn't be able to like uh bear like that will like put a lot of stress in your mind and everything so like uh, at the end like we saw him like um, telling stuff like who am i and uh, like uh, what am i supposed to do stuff like that like he was like uh becoming uh, like mixed up with within all of those lives and everything all of the memories and all so we'll see like uh i, I doubt like this guy will propose any uh, like threat because obviously even though like he has lived 30 lives and whatever uh like maka and uh Tron are a lot stronger than him and uh, <laughs> yeah and another thing is like uh, one thing that i remembered uh, from like uh, i don't know like if this anime said something like that is um uh, okay like uh, just a sec uh yeah emmet like i don't know like uh, if this anime said this or like i heard uh, this in some where else like uh, i like uh, emmet this the thing that was written in the golem if you guys uh, like know uh, i don't know uh, if you like know what that is but i'm going to tell it like emmet is something that is like in uh, it is it means uh, uh, truth and i think it, it was said like uh, if you like remove the e from emmet and it becomes met uh, the golem dies uh, i can't remember uh, just a sec. That is the reason why I'm like <coughs> searching it. Um, yeah, uh, the uh, the Hebrew word of emet also means um, truth, uh, and it is like usually written on the golem's forehead. And if you want to kill the golem, uh, you will have to like remove the e. And if you remove the e, emet becomes meth, and meth means death. So like that is the like way you how like how you kill a golem. And so I don't know like uh, what they're going to do. Are they going to like use this? Uh, I'm guessing they're going to use this because uh, this thing like Emmet and Meth because otherwise like they shouldn't have wouldn't have written the, that thing in the stomach of the golem. Uh, I think uh, in the next episode in, or in like in the future episodes they're probably going to do like uh, somehow like uh, like remove the E from the Meth and the golem uh, Emmet and golem the golem is going to die. This is just my guess. Uh, and uh, I don't know if you guys knew about this, but like I heard this uh, in a lot of like animes and visual novels and everything that I've played and all in uh, games in JRPGs and all. So like uh, after like uh, seeing that Emmet, it kind of reminded me of that, and I like my memory had been a little bit muddy, so I uh, like uh, searched it now, and yeah, I was correct. Like uh, Emmet means a truth, and if you like remove the E, it becomes uh, like death, and the golem dies. So I don't know like if they're going to use that in this anime or use that as uh, the way to kill this golem but uh, yeah let's see we'll probably see in the next episode what they're going to do <coughs> and uh, yeah and another thing is like uh, they felt a wavelength of uh, soul and uh, so the thing is like uh, as uh, Stein was saying uh, uh, was it Stein saying that um, yeah that uh, like if this was like something related to the insanity of uh, the Kishin 
uh, the golem would not be the first one to get in like uh, get uh, uh, like um, inf not uh, not infected uh, uh, would not be the first one to be like uh, get, to get that insanity thing and become uh, like and to buzz become berserk like uh, like many uh, there are many other humans who have this type of like hidden thing within them uh, which Stein uh, himself has so like nothing happened like that so why the hell would a golem be like this so the answer is this like uh, it, it is definitely not related to the insanity thing so this guy like somehow like uh, was able to uh, infuse the golem with a soul or a wavelength or something a soul most probably and uh, that is how like uh, he after like uh, researching for 800 years and everything that he said he like wants to take some kind of revenge for the uh, like uh, against the, the Shivusen and uh, so this is something which is not related to the Kishin at all as far as I understood so this is something completely different so yeah like this was like uh, something that they had mistaken and <clears throat> yeah this is not something that was related to him at all so yeah so that was this episode this was episode number 26 of soul eater um, if you guys enjoyed my, enjoyed my reaction press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to share anything you want to say i'll be sure to check them out and uh, yes so thank you guys for watching i'll be back with a new soul eater episode next week so until then goodbye and have a nice day